Hi. In this video, we're going to look at the novel library and how to create your very first novels. When you log into Novel Crafter, the interface that you will see first is the novel library. Initially empty, as you write, it will fill up with all the lovely books that you create. You can view these novels as a grid, where you get nice large images of your thumbnails, or as a list, if you want to see more in one view. Within this, you can also search for novels. Uh, for example, you can search wizard and wizard comes up. Within this, you can sort them by name, series, date and author, but you can also group them. So here you can see you have novels that you've worked on this week or this month. You can sort by the author and you can also sort by books that you share with another if you're on the specialist plan or you can have no grouping. I like to have the series grouping so it keeps all the novels within one you know series together. To create a novel from scratch all you need to do is select create novel. If you already have a story on Novel Crafter you can carry over the settings and your codex to the new book. This is great for if you're writing a series and you don't want to have to rewrite all your character info or move codex entries. So for example, use template novel. Let's go for the wonderful Wizard of Oz. And you can see that all the copy, uh, all the details have copied over as well as the structure, codex entries and everything. So we'll keep this here for now out of curiosity and I will call this 2.0 and we won't put it in a series. In the book details, you can put in your title, your author or pen name, the series. So if you have a series, you can choose it here. And also the series index, so which book in the series it is. Now let's create our novel. You can see here through the import, our characters have moved through, as well as the structure. To compare this, let's go to the original novel you can see that there was only one act, so therefore there wasn't anything to transfer over. To view the metadata and other settings, you want to click on the cog in the upper left corner. Here you have a bunch of different tabs. The first, the metadata, allows you to change the title, your author name, the series, etc. You can also upload a cover image. And then you can crop the image to be in the proportions that you need for your novel cover. You also have here the ability to delete your novel. Although, you know, you might not want to do that. It does give you, however, a box to make sure that you want to delete it. So you won't accidentally click on anything and get rid of your novel. In the writing tab, you can assign labels or markers in which you can tag your scenes in. You can do these manually yourself, or you can use some of the presets. So we have status or temporal settings, and these can be used to help you organize in a way that isn't seen by the AI, but is nicely color coordinated and, and good for kind of human eyes. You can also set your default tense language and point of view here. So for example, you might always write in the present tense. You have different variations of English, but also many other languages that are supported. And provided that the LLM that you choose can support that language, you are free to use it here. And these are used in the system prompting. So it really helps kind of get into the nitty gritty. You can also set your point of view and say the character that it is the point of view of. These can also be changed on an individual scene by scene basis within the plan interface. However, if you have only one point of view character, this might be the way to go for you. If you're in the specialist plan, you can invite collaborators. You just type in their email and away you go. To view the data, collaborators only need a free account and don't need to sign up for any plans. However, in order to edit, they require a paid plan. Uh, Scribe, which is the lowest uh, non-AI plan, that is perfectly fine for this. And you can um, use this in order to export the novel and, and edit 
although you won't have the features of the AI. If you're on a higher plan, then you get your own features. And finally, you can export your novel from here. You can select your scenes, toggle them, and you can choose to either export the summaries or export the prose. These automatically export as a Word doc file. However, they can be opened up in other um, word processors. In the next lesson, I will cover how to import a novel that you've already started on using Novel Crafter.